guys, what's up? It's your girl Sarah back in again with another video. And in this week's video, I'm going to be taking my braids out, taking all the color that's out in here, and making it orange. So it is currently almost 11 o'clock, and I have a concert uh, to get to at 2.30. So, um, pray that I get this done in time and I get to the show on time. So here's a time lapse of me taking these messy braids that I've had for weeks in my hair out. out and now I know, oh my god it looks like such a mess and there's hair falling out everywhere and this is the aftermath of how much hair I shed from it there's more somewhere on the floor here and all over me but yeah so now what we're gonna do is mix this with four ounces of room temperature water into here and then we're gonna put it into my hair leave it in for 30 minutes wash it out hopefully all the color washes out so then I can add you know, orange. Me when I go on a rampage on brushing out my curly hair. Wow, this is a mess. Here's also the aftermath of what was before a clean, no hair brush. Now look at how much hair there is in it. Never underestimate people with curly hair. When we straighten it, it may look like nothing, but So now I just change into a cloth, I don't really care about putting on some gloves and now I'm about to put it on all of my hair. Alright, so all of it has been put into my hair. Now we gotta wait, I assume, 15 to 45 minutes. Shit. I'm gonna wait 30 minutes and I'm gonna wash it out. Now I've made my solution of like part conditioner and then part hair dye from Good Dye Up. To be honest, this is my first time ever using this hair dye, and in all the videos I always see that they use like, just, no, they don't even use the whole thing, they just use a little tiny amount, like, just like a little squeeze into like conditioner, they put into the hair, and it's very saturated, um, in the hair, and it looks very saturated in this, um, I hope it ends up becoming, looking really nice in my hair. But we'll see about that. So I've officially showered and slightly dried my hair. Um, not much of the color has actually left. It's still very there and very saturated, but I'm going to do a little strand test in my blues back here, put the orange there, and if it, you know, turns to brown because of the two mi colors mixing together, then I'm just going to have to redo this whole process again. But if it does go to orange, then I'm just going to say, like, forget it to this blue. I'm going to do it all orange, and then we'll see with that. Hey guys, what's up? It's officially been about a week since I first did that in my, to my hair. Um, that didn't work, so I used another Sally product that's meant for permanent hair color. Um, as you can tell, the green is uh, still slightly there, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the orange in anyway. Because I did a little strand test, and yeah, mixing like orange and green together makes brown, but... I did a strand test and it made like a uh, a like a uh, orange brown. So imagine like neon orange and then some orange brown. I feel like that'd be kind of a cute ombre. So we're gonna do it anyways and see what happens because I I cannot stand having my hair like this anymore. Like look at this mess. It's as if I never went to a salon and paid two hundred dollars to make it look like Kim Possible hair. So I got my gloves on and still the formula for the hair that I made for my hair that I made last week and we are gonna get right into it. So now from this point on, here is a time lapse of me putting it into my hair. So I just finished putting 
putting all of it in my hair. Now uh, we gotta wait, like, I'm gonna know, I'm gonna keep it in for 30 minutes and I'm gonna wash it out and show you guys the final results. So this is the final result. And on this side, so, I like how it turned out. And it turned out better than expected. Like this side is very vibrant, real pretty, and I like it a ton. But here, um, I didn't, clearly I didn't mix well. Um, that well because some of the green is still showing and it's brown which to be expected when mixing a orange and a green together but I'm I'm gonna try adding maybe a little bit more orange um, and see if it has any effect so here goes nothing so I've added more orange and in this lighting you can't really tell um, but still a little bit brown but if I put it like this or if I wear it like this, you can't really tell and it's still a very nice orange. So, um, I really like the outcome. Here's how it looks with black. Yeah, that, I guess that concludes this week's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up because you never know what I may do to my hair next or what kind of crazy makeup I might do next. And subscribe if you enjoyed that content. And, you know, if you want to be real nice, hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I do some crazy stuff to my face or my hair. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!